Oh, thank goodness you're here, Alex. I'm really hungry and could use a pork chop. Steve, you're scaring my pig. <laughs> ah, thank you. See you guys later. I think I'm gonna be sick. On the table, more survival mode Minecraft action figures from Mattel, the spinning blaze, the saddled pig, I'm going to try that exploding creeper again, and people were asking about chopping Alex last time, so we'll chop around with her as well. We're gonna have to start off with this spinning blaze, of course. Looks pretty big, takes a large area of the package up. On the back of the box, information on the spinning blaze, how to snap arms and bottom arms, push blaze forward for rotating arm attack, crafting guide for a brewing stand, and a little information, if a blaze is within two blocks of its target, it will perform a melee attack and does six hearts of damage. Plus other figures available. Okay, let's remove. Okay, welcome to Attaching Your Blazes Arms 101. It's a little bit tricky, but I think I'm figuring it out. We have four upper arms that are going to snap into these clips up top, and then we have four lower arms which are going to clip into these posts on the sides. So starting with the top, basically look for this flat part here, and we'll snap it in to one of these clips. And I think the only one you really have to look out for is this one here, as there's a little bit of blaze plastic sticking out. So look for one of these arms with a little more flat base to it so it doesn't run into that. There we go, all four upper arms clipped in. I really don't think there has to be a certain way or reason. Uh, that looks like the best best approach. And for the bottom arms, we've got a clip with a little bit of a groove in there and it kind of matches up to some of these a little better than others. So as you're snapping them around, you might find that one fits in a better corner than another one. So just kind of pay attention slowly as you build these in. I don't think that one goes there. There we go. So again, you're gonna wanna play around a little mix and match, try to find the best fit for some of these lower arms. There might actually be a rhyme or reason to the homes of these clips. But once you've finally got them going, it looks pretty fun. We've got arms going on everywhere. Now we just have to figure out this little piece too. I think this is going to aid in rolling. And I think I see this flatter part here is going to attach. And now we just have to figure out, do we want the big wheels inside or do we want the big wheels outside of this thing? Notice how we have large wheels and smaller wheels up front. So he's either gonna clip in like so and roll. No. So we're gonna probably want to have the big wheels facing forward. Ah that that snaps in right away. So there we go, that's an obvious answer. And now we can do that. Ah there we go. So lift up a little bit on the flame trail and we have spinning blaze that is pretty fun I really could do this all day well that was too entertaining once you figure out those complicated arm placings, you're treated to a spinning good time. After that blaze, we'll have to do something a little easier to construct. Chopping Alex. On the back of the box, quick crafting guide on how to make an axe. Axes destroy log and wooden plank blocks faster than fists or other tools. They can be used to damage mobs, but they wear out quicker unless enchanted. And a quick image on how to function Alex. Let's chop her out of this package. 
and Alex outside of the package. Pretty much a good opportunity to get an Alex figure if you have not found her yet. She comes with an axe, of course, and there's chopping action. Little lever on the back. There we go. Considering how much we get with the blaze, it's really unfortunate we didn't get a couple wood blocks of sorts, a couple tree trunks or something for her to chop on. That would have been fun to have and would have been a simple addition. So I guess there's three Alexes now. I think the best one was Alex with enchanted armor. These are the most fun to play with because you have all that extra armor. And then we had an Alex with a firing bow and arrow which was pretty fun to play with too, but remember that arrow is always embedded into her arm, so that's kind of weird. Uh, but neither one of these have an action feature for her arm, so if you're looking for something that can wail on a mob, there's the figure for you. The Saddled Pig. I think everyone's going to want to ride on this one. A crafting guide for a saddle. Pigs will follow any player who is carrying a carrot, a carrot on a stick, potato, or a beetroot. Push the pig's head to release pork chop. Saddled pigs make for great transportation. Oh, this guy's gonna be fun. Okay, pig outside of the blanket or uh, box. Very cute. I love the animals that uh, these survival mode figures have made. They're pretty funny and cute. Got some legs with a little bit of movement. And we even have a pork chop spot right down in the bottom. That's pretty funny. That's just going to pop right in there. Pretty seamless, too. And to drop the pork chop, press head down. There we go. That's a really cool feature. I like that. Ah, if I can get it in there one more time. Here we go. <laughs> too much fun and then we have the saddle we'll place that up top looks like we've got a couple little spots there maybe for it to rest in like so and let's get Alex back out here we can remove her axe Steve is on the box but we're gonna go with Alex man she is really not gonna let go of that axe Drop in the fishing pole with carrot, and have a seat, Alex. Legs fit in nicely tight, and they just barely clear the head of the pig. And there we go, she's uh, getting a pig ride. And we could even do this. this. This is a good version of Alex to have for this pig, actually, something you can kind of noodle around with. Sorry, Alex. It needs a seatbelt. There you go with that. That is a pretty fun functioning toy. I like how we have double features, both pork chop and the rideability of the pig. For sure a toy to look out for. All right, the exploding creeper gets a second run, this time with a TNT block though, but I'm excited to give this guy a try. If you remember my original creeper, I never was able to get it to work just right. I know a lot of people are saying, you're doing it wrong, but I'll show you again. Uh, there's a couple different ways. Say you lift it up and you press the button, just the head pops off. Now a lot of you guys are saying, okay, you're supposed to do it with the creeper on the table and then you press the button. Well, the head still pops off. And then, okay, so what if I were to hold on to the body and press the head? Well, the head comes off. Or what if I were to hold the body down like so? Or actually, there's another way. If I hold on to the body and I press the head and I hold the head tight, the legs fall off. Okay, well, that almost kind of worked. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do it. We'll see, but it never really functioned very well. So I'm kind of excited to see this new one. Maybe there's a little bit something wrong with the mechanism on mine. I never felt like it did very well. Uh, so here we go with another creeper on the back of the box. Push the creeper's head for exploding creeper action. So the same thing and a crafting guide for TNT. Creepers drop gunpowder which can be used to make TNT. Other figures available. Let's get this creeper out. 
and outside of the package with the creeper, you will notice I actually got the feet pointing in the right direction. Many times in the past I get my creeper feet going the wrong way because I'm looking at other things while I'm recording the video and I don't even notice. So those are pointed forward and looking good. I like the creeper action figure as a whole. I really like how the legs have hinges on the bottom. I think that's kind of fun. And hopefully this action feature today will work a little better than what I saw with my original creeper. So here we go. We're going to go for the uh, exploding creeper. We're going to press down on this button and see what happens. Ah, I'm already seeing more than I've ever seen with my other one. Both points are releasing at the same time. Let's try him up above. Yeah, see, I totally thought my original creeper had some issues, and I was right. But I do appreciate all your guys' comments on helping me out with it, because it really was confusing me what was going on. So yeah, he totally blows apart. This creeper, my original creeper, would just pop one part off unless you were holding it like so. So he was a little bit unfunctioning, uh, but still a fun toy. But it's really nice to get the second opportunity. And, a, and it's nice to have like a TNT block thrown in too, so it's not like I'm buying the exact same thing over again. That is too cool. Grouped together, survival mode figures Summer Wave 2017, except for maybe Chopping Alex, she might be winter. They went all out for the spinning blaze for sure, and that saddled pig will come in very handy for many reasons. And it's always nice to have a couple exploding creepers around. Whoa, that's amazing that didn't set off the TNT. Oh, there we go. Pork chop, anyone? Minecraft Survival Mode Figures from Mattel 2017 run about $12 per figure. This group of figures gives you great comfortable saddle pig travel and pork chop dinners, exploding good time with the creeper and spinning good times with the blaze. You will have to find these figures if you are into the survival mode world of Minecraft. That's what I have to say about that. Squirrel chops are a delicacy in some circles. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.